kunano minate suni sunu mihai fulotu mishini kulu sukai. All verse rise in my cosmo family. So I want to talk about the singularity versus the duality. So the singularity is ascending, transcendent, which are my heart and soul I. The all seeing eyes, your mind, heart, and soul. It allows you to be all knowing to comprehend things and just be able to destroy this damn prison matrix. The duality that's been created by these D room alien narcissistic slave owners, which is the artificial light illusions and tolerate the narcissistic bad. I repeat this, the duality that they that these demon remaining slave owners want, you know, masses of all the multiverses to follow. They want the masses of all multiverses to follow the artificial light, illusion good, and tolerate the empty vibrational, soulless, narcissistic, bad agendas of this prison matrix. Because anybody who is always going beyond with their mind, heart, and soul, questioning things, you know what I'm saying? Tapping in with their inner child, healing that inner child, leveling up with then that all seeing my heart and soul eye, which is going with singularity. Those D room alien slave rooms, they don't want singularity. It's just like this, you know, the dualities of stuff. The duality of this prison norms of false spirituality like Hotep, Black Lives Matter, Fraternity, Jehovah Witness, you name it. Anything that, you know, goes against singularity to go itself and, and comprehend thyself. These demon alien slave owners, they do not want any single extraterrestrial, celestial, anthropomorphic, robotic, alien life form in the cosmos to think for themselves, feel for themselves, you know, producing and unleashing their angel number multiversal cosmo talent. Because this duality of artificial light illusions, like these false spiritual courthouses, false spiritual schools, all of this stuff, you know what I'm saying? And look, I'm telling you right now, you know, the the divine advanced intelligent beings that have this all seeing my heart and soul idea are there. You know what I'm saying? They are there to understand this message and share this type of message out there. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, the singularity of like ascending with your neo power, that's something that these demon alien slave owners don't want. Because me, I, I go with singularity all the time. Even if I could get shunned, even if I can, you know, get looked at crazy by these sociopaths and psychopaths uh, agents that are sent by these draconian slave owners. But you know what? I'm not alone. You know, there's other beings out there that that thrive and strive to achieve and go beyond with their singularity powers. Because like, man, I'm telling you right now, these 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 uh artificial light illusion good and and fucking empty vibrational narcissistic bad creative narcissistic slave owners, they want you to be stuck in the duality of the matrix that they painted. You know what I'm saying? And look, you can't find this stuff. You can't find this information on Google, the black web, the purple web, the dark web, whatever kind of web. Because this type of information that I have tapped into from my intuition, you know what I'm saying? It came from within for me to share this message to you all. So, you know, I'm telling you all, all the cosmo beings and all the multiverses, you know. Stick to going with your singularity powers. Like, because, like, in, in during the age of Aquarius, even though, you know, we are beyond 2021, you know what I'm saying? We talking about all planets, all multiverses, you know what I'm saying? 
even the universe where I'm from, Universe 21, the planet Ice World, even they, even individuals in that region of the cosmos comprehend that we are beyond 2021. But let me tell you something. Um, 2021 is a very, uh, it's a very prime new age number for sure. It's a new prime age number. It's a, it's a, it's the age 2021 and you know, I go by Cold Shield 21 as my, you know, that's my warrior nickname of the cosmos. So let me tell you something, you know, 2021 is definitely a prime age of the golden age. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna say golden age. I'm gonna say it's the infinite age of the eternal age of these divine advanced intelligent chosen, chosen soulful ones to thrive with singularity. And, you know, we soulful beings, you know, we are not going to obey this false spirituality of this duality that these d slave owners painted in none of our universes that we created, that these d slave owners had came and stole and tried to hijack and lowjack our creations and try to, you know, destroy our originalities of who we are. You see what I'm saying? I'm saying this in the most uh, calm way that I can. So like, you know, it definitely won't be in vain. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that this, I comprehend that this message will come across. I have been saying that this demon alien matrix will be ended in the 21st century. It will be ended. It is not going on for no longer. You know what I'm saying? Because I do a lot to make sure that my word soul magic and in, in my I make sure that word soul magic is, is very strong. It gets stronger and stronger by the day because whatever we are seeing, it, it can it can either keep the matrix alive longer or it can destroy it more soon. And I always say that this matrix designed by these Durham alien slave owners who formed this artificial light illusion good. And try to have us tolerate this narcissistic bad of duality that these false spiritual slave owners have formed upon our multiverses. I be doing my all with my words so badger to make sure that stuff is going to be put to an end. And yes, I am not alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm not alone. There's other, you know, my, my race of alien individuals from... Planet Ice World and Emerald Cavern City of Universe 21, they rocking with me too. They're making sure that, you know, my data kinesis powers of the messages I, I express to all the cosmo beings and all the multiverses to not go in vain. Even the new universes that's being created right now as I am speaking, since each soulful being can create a, a new universe as they wish through their dream magic. And we gotta make sure, do dream magic, we gotta make sure that we are developing powers, you know, new powers that come into existence, new kinetic powers to be able to end these, you know, narcissistic duality slave owners who come and try to just ruin shit that we create. You know, cause these D room alien slave owners, they don't want us to have singularity of freedom and peace and, you know, vibrant fun, vibrant intelligence, vibrant everything that comes with originality of all authentic spirituality. You see what I'm saying? So like, you know, I mean, I've been ready. I've been ready. I've been ready since the first lifetime, my second lifetime. This is my third lifetime right now. There's there's soulful beings who's ready in their 100 lifetime. There's soulful beings that's ready in their first lifetime. You know, we got some beings that just came into existence for the first time ever. And, you know, they comprehended things the same way I'm comprehending things. The same way I'm comprehending things that these beings, that individuals who are living in their 500 lifetime are, are comprehending. You know, we soulful beings feel each other regardless of what, what how many other lifetimes that we have. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a resonance of, you know thrive and to achieve singularity because singularity represents freedom, free thinking, free feeling within the mind, heart, and soul. I, 
me, I'm speaking from my mind, heart, and soul. I see things through my mind, heart, and soul. My mind, heart, and soul is a brain. You see this D-Room England slave owners that had that, that formed this duality matrix? They wouldn't even tell you no stuff like that. They wouldn't tell you that your mind, heart, and soul is a brain that can see things. That's true. Your mind, heart, and soul can see things that your physical eyes cannot see. Now, granted, your physical eyes, you know, is part of your extraterrestrial, your celestial, whatever alien race you are, is part of your special, unique abilities. You know, when you're, you know, using it to, like, you know, seek out something physical. You know what I'm saying? We know how, you know, Orioles, Oreo birds, owls, you know, fish, all these other species, they use their physical eyes to seek out something like food or something. But every single alien species that are divine with a soul, they use their mind, heart, and soul eye to seek out, you know, more deeper, more, you know, galactic aspects of like, you know, powers. You see what I'm saying? But that's all I wanted to say right here. You all share this video around to you, all your loved ones and all the multiverses. Share it around on this multiversal social media platform because social media is a galactic engine of a multiversal platform. You know what I'm saying? Social media is an all seeing my heart and soul eye platform. So there's soulful beings that need this message right now so they can spread it. So, you know, just do me that favor and we're going to be rocking the Neo Singularity Powers, man. Your boy Jules Unisouls is out.